With the onset of winter, you can fly south or you can adapt to your surroundings. Fishing takes me home, back to all the memories of different waters, always flowing from one memory to the next. Tend to use a lot of attracting patterns, so big jigs, loud jigs. If there's any fish in the area, um, whether they're active or not, they're gonna come check this thing out. We're fishing, huh? Yeah, we're fishing. <laughs> fishing in the snow. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Balmy, balmy spring in Canada, baby, let's go. Cool. Memories of brown paper bags full of snelled hooks, red and white bobbers, and dented lead weights. The absolute stillness of an ice-covered lake at dawn, seemingly frozen in time. At first glance, so dead and devoid of existence, but crawling with life beneath my feet. A world away from my reality. You see what he sees? That's good, mud bottom. This whole bay is basically all one depth, so. I'm thinking, you know, throw some baits down, yeah, get some pike cruising the shoreline, right? Suckers will be moving in, whitefish will be moving in, so throw some tip-ups down. I'll take this herring, I'll thread my line through, and when that fish does decide to take it, the flag comes up. Memories of time spent with friends, and all the stories shared while sitting around a hole drilled in the ice. familiar sound of snow creaking underfoot, interrupting the silence. What are we doing out here in the wind? Questioning the effort. Trying to find where they've concentrated. You know, we've, we've covered a lot of the lake already, trying to find any signs of life, whether it be feed, structure, fish. Fishing has always required adaptation and the gathering of lessons learned along the way. It helps us connect with home and all its seasons to figure out the challenges of the next bite. Saskatchewan gold. to look and see me staring at a hole for hours on end. <laughs> Most people think we're nuts.